Our next guest worked as a magician under the name The Amazing Randy, but the world knows him for what he's achieved off stage. He's spent decades challenging people who claim they have mysterious powers. 50 years ago, James Randy offered a reward to anyone who could offer proof of the paranormal. Increasing the offer to a million dollars, no one has claimed it. He led a chorus of skeptics against Yuri Geller, the man who claimed he could bend spoons. And because of that, Don Lane had this famous dummy spit. We're going for a commercial break and you can f off. This year, James Randi turned 86 and his life and career have been celebrated in the documentary An Honest Liar. No matter how smart or well-educated you are, you can be deceived. And James Randi oh. joins us now live from Fort Lauderdale in the United States. James. <laughs> Welcome to Studio 10. Thank you for being with us. Um, you are trained as a magician. Do you feel perhaps you're giving away secrets and maybe ruining the fun for everyone out there by challenging the paranormal? Oh, I don't give away secrets, no. Uh, it's not secrets of the magic trade, that is the conjuring trade, because we conjurers are very honest. We say, we're fakes, we're going to fool you, and we do it, and we do it for purposes of entertainment, but not to take people's money under false pretenses, of course. And James, can you tell us some of the common tricks that psychics use to convince people that they have supernatural powers, be it communing with the dead or be it the old spoon-bending trick? What, what do they do? How do they trick people? Well, it's all psychological misdirection, of course. Uh, when they say that they're talking to the dead, Usually the line, and you've heard it so many times, I'm sure, the line is something like, I'm getting an M or an R. Now, what does that mean, I'm getting an M or an R? Because that could be Massachusetts, it, it, it could be Randy, for all mm -hmm. they know. But they throw things out like this into the audience as suggestions, and somebody will hold up their hand and say, yes, and they say, my mother's name was uh, whatever. You know, and they, they try to get them to identify with these things. And then they start what they call cold reading. Well, they don't call it cold reading, but we do. It's a, it's a process of extracting information from people and getting them to go along with you in the discussion. And they're very subtle at it. Some of them are very good at it. Some of them are not all that great, but they still make a lot of money. So it's asking those leading questions. Uh, James, what about the spoon bending trick? Because that was, I believe... Yuri Geller's big trick. Yeah, I think oh, this... they... You can show us, can't you? Yeah, I think that's, that's one of Geller's only four tricks. He only has four tricks in his entire repertoire. Well, any singer who only has four songs that he or she sings would be doomed to failure. But Geller's done very well on simple four tricks. Well, can you tricks. show us how it's and done? the spoon-bending trick... The... Uh, yes, it's done very carefully. <laughs> Wink, wink. <laughs> no, it, it's, a, it's a case. If I told you the, the secret of it is, and th this is quite honest now, the secret of it is you do it when nobody's looking. Okay, so you have a That's spoon with you at the moment, don't you? Now there's the spoon you? breaking trick. Yes, I do. This was obtained from the kitchen here at this little station that I'm at out of the country here with a big dish behind it. And this is a, uh, wait a minute. That's the testing board. <laughs> and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty solid spoon. Uh, would you like to see a demonstration? Yes. 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 All right. I have a young man here who's uh, you're a volunteer, am I correct? <laughs> OK. Would you hold on to each end of the spoon, that's it, and hold it uh, maybe a little, yeah, that's pretty good. OK. Now, I'm just going to massage it very gently here, all right? Now, hold it firmly. Uh, put your elbow down on the table, perhaps. And you, there, you get a better grip on it. I'm just going to, well, first of all, first of all, let, let go of it for a second. I want to, you can't see me hammering it on the table, but I am doing that. Okay, hold it again, please, and hold it up. There we go. Now, I'm just going to stroke it gently like this, mm -hmm. and I'm going to wiggle it back and forth. Okay? Just wiggle it back and forth like that. Now, I, you know, I, it doesn't seem to be doing much, but watch carefully now. Watch carefully. Oh, look, 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 it's, look, it's actually getting flex, look, it's getting flexible, look at that. It actually gets flexible, sort of turns rubbery. 
Isn't that the strangest thing? Look. Oh, look. So how are you it's doing that? Worried. Look, it's oh, getting oh my completely God. flexible. <laughs> doing it very well, I think. And it flies into oh, two wow. pieces. Wow. Wow. A miracle of a semi-religious nature. How do, how do you do that? Yeah. Now, this is... Uh, this is a, is a rather simple trick that uh, kids can do, too. I can teach any kid to do this inside of, oh, half an hour or so. It's not all that difficult to do. But Mr. Geller has built his whole career on a simple trick like bending spoons. What the, the advantage is in bending a spoon, you can't use it then, you see. The food all falls in your lap. <laughs> so it's very awkward. I don't know how he ever came up with such a silly trick, but he did, and he's done very well with it over the years, I must admit. So, James, clearly that is a trick and you've sort of debunked that, that that's sort of some sort of spiritual power that, that make people bend spoons. Do you believe that there are mediums out there, though, genuine people who have an ability to connect with the other side? I mean, there are plenty of people who believe in that. Do you believe in a higher power? No, I don't. And the reason is that uh, I'm 86 years of age. I've been in this uh, since I was about 12 or 13 years of age. And uh, in all that time, I have been searching for something like that. As a matter of fact, the James Randi Educational Foundation, which I represent, offers a $1 million, that's U.S., uh, $1 million prize to any so-called psychic or, or sensitive of any kind who can actually prove that they have these powers. Now, that offer has been out for many years now. And we, you would think that outside this, this building here, there would be a lineup of people all waiting to try to make the million dollars because so many people claim they've got these powers. I, I don't see anybody outside. The, the parking lot is empty. Mm -hmm. Well, James, is that why you've agreed to make the documentary? Are you still looking for people to come forward or, or are you just wanting to debunk all of, all of the theories that are, that are trotted out before the public? Now, first, I must say that I don't accept the term debunk. To debunk means that you go into something, say, this is not so, and I'm going to prove to you that it's not so. Yeah. I don't go into it that way because the scientific way, the rational way would be to go into it, as I do, saying, I don't know, but let's find out. Let's design some tests mm -hmm. of these so-called powers and find out whether they do have anything behind them. Well, that's, that's what I do. It has been fascinating talking with you. James Randi, thank you very much for joining us here at Studio 10. Um, I, I'll, I'll just... Um, what, what, what? Oh, yeah, I was going to send for a fork. One, yeah. Oh! oh. 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 We never got to the bottom of that, did we? Yeah. Hey, uh, we've got some details for you as well on the Australian tour of the amazing James Randi, who we met during the show. He's giving talks and presenting his documentary, An Honest Liar, in the first week of December in Adelaide, Perth, Brisbane, Melbourne and Sydney. Details online at thinkinc.org.au. Fantastic. All right, we're back with more of Studio 10 right after this. Don't go anywhere. Woo!